You can get the amazing Hidden Ones outfit in Assassin's Creed Valhalla for finding 5 bureaus. And the best part is, you can already do this very early on in the game by simply going to these locations in England. So in this video I will tell you where all the locations are and also if the armor set is any good. So a like on the video would really help the channel out and let's go. I'm doing a 2300 helix pack giveaway on the channel if you want to participate just click the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter and good luck. In a pre-launch video I told you about the hidden ones bureaus that you can find in the world and these are from the previous hidden ones who were active during the Roman Empire but now disappeared out of England but their hideouts are still there and actually early on in the game if you build the hidden ones bureau in your settlement and do the quest that follows you will get a new task from Hytem to collect six codex pages in the world and these codex pages are all hidden in a hidden ones bureau but also pieces of a special armor set can be found there and this armor set looks amazing I really like the face mask as the headgear and just the overall green and gold look with a red waist but you want to rock it with the cloak of course that has the gold shoulder pads and also the green look Overall, I really dig this outfit. So you can already find the first piece really early on in the game in Leicester over here on the map. So this is a power level 20 region. So when you get close, you will actually see the Hidden Ones sigil already indicating that a bureau is nearby. In this case, you want to shoot the sack of rocks to create an opening to this underground base. It's pretty straightforward to get inside this one that will be different for the others we will talk about in a second. But yeah, when you get inside, totally grab the codex page and also the gloves of this Hidden Ones set. And the second piece can be found in London that you find over here on the map. So kind of to the side and you have to enter from higher up. There are two things that will help you find these Hidden Ones bureaus. One is that a gear wealth icon and likely another ingot icon will always be close to each other. So when you see that, a Hidden Ones bureau is likely close. But also when Roman ruins are nearby. So again, for London you have to climb up and then get on this tree and then via an awesome leap of faith we get inside the Hidden Ones Bureau. It will be more challenging to find the entrance of this one, although I don't think it will like take you a really long time and then you already get the face mask. And by the way, don't let the power level of the region that these bureaus are in scare you because the bureaus are mostly in cities. So. There will not be a ton of hostile enemies here and otherwise you can easily ignore them or just run away and they will not come after you. Having two pieces already means that you have the first set bonus active which increases the assassination damage when crouched and undetected for 10 seconds. Important to note is that when you use the left trigger when inspecting gear you will actually get a better explanation of the perk which is really nice. So in short it says that if you are crouched and undetected for 10 seconds you get a plus 25 assassination damage. So then you have a higher chance to pull off a one hit assassination or it gives you a larger window with the advanced assassination skill so it's easier to pull them off against high power level enemies. It's really quite nice and you will see that the perk is active thanks to the icon above your health and it will slowly decrease the moment you stand up. So then you will still have the effect active for 10 seconds. Right now it's kind of hard to see the impact of this though. Because I think that the bonus assassin damage is not indicated in the red bar that shows how much damage you will do. But still when you like to sneak around this armor set will of course really help with that. And the final set bonus will make it even better. And you get that after equipping all the 5 pieces. So we first have to get the others. You can find the hood in Essex. So just go there, climb up the runes and then you will find an underground passage icon that indicates the entrance of the Hidden Ones Bureau. Always when there is water by the way with these sort of bureau puzzles, dive because many of the puzzles require you to do that to get inside the bureau. For the chest piece we want to get to your fig. So just take your ship and ignore everything until you hit the docks to get a fast travel spot. In your fig the bureau is over here on the map. It is not that hard to find 
because if you use tune in, you will find a very obvious breakable floor. So enter there, complete the puzzle, and you will get the chest piece. The final piece, the boots, can be found in Gloucestershire. And as always, I hope I pronounced that right. It's a 220 power level region. Again, just ignore the enemies. It should be easily doable. There were some bears here though, so careful for that. They will hit hard, but again, just go away and they will ignore you. And then make your way to the bureau. It's near these two very large statues, kind of to the side of the map. And then you will find the entrance there. There will be poison clouds here that you can remove with the torch. So totally hold one to protect yourself. And then you will reach it eventually and then have the boots that already come in silver. So require one less upgrade. And also nice that all these hidden ones items are already upgraded to the fullest for their rarity. When you get them which is quite nice when you wear the full set you get increased headshot damage so actually also really nice for the hunter playstyle. but for assassins it's not bad either giving you the option to more easily take out enemies from afar without others noticing in some cases it will still be smarter to focus on the weak spots though and then follow up with a bow stun finisher or Simply another arrow, because sometimes, of course, headshots will not completely kill the enemy and then stunning them is smarter. But yeah, overall, I really love this Hidden Ones armor set. Getting this early already is going to help you a lot. But if you paid attention, then you notice that I said that there were six bureaus. Because yes, there's one more, and that one is in the 340 power level region. Winchester. Although again, you can totally just make it there without dying if you just stay out of trouble. Like sure, I was 140 when I did this tactic, but even on like a lower power level, it should be doable. Once again, you can like look at statues because the bureau is again next to a statue. When you spot them, you just want to fall down to enter. So what you find here is a silver dagger after completing the puzzle and this dagger is very powerful. It increases critical damage after each hit and daggers of course step very fast and I now also got two daggers for the first time and then the regular hits are just insane like you keep hitting the enemy and then this effect will stack of course too. The regular light attack of course also does not cost any stamina while the left hand attack that is kind of similar of course does. You also get a ton of adrenaline back when just stabbing the enemy. So I think I found my new favorite combination of weapons. Two daggers. And I, by the way highlighted another dagger you can get early on in the game. And I will link to that video at the end of this one. But yeah, totally try and get it already. Again, I was already like 140 when I did this. But it should be possible on like 20, 30 as well. You just have to go to the cities. And get to a bureau. You do not have to kill any enemy to get these items. By doing so, you also get all the codex pages if you of course grab them in every bureau. So make sure that you don't leave without them. If you then bring them back to Hytem, he will have a surprise for you that I don't want to spoil. I might upload it later on my second YouTube channel with a spoiler warning of course, but... For now, you will have to figure it out yourself. It's really, really cool. Subscribe for everything and subscribe Valhalla if you haven't already. A like on the video would really help the channel out. Want to join the Discord and chat Valhalla with me and many other people? Then totally click the invite link in the pinned comment. And you can watch my previous video on those early items, including the dagger, by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.